Hi there, my name is Kwaju Imadi, uh, Senior Pastor of the Covenant Nation, Nigeria. Um, this morning I want to share on something I learned from a gentleman which I think may be able to help somebody out there. Uh, one day I was on a flight, I can't remember where it was in Nigeria, maybe it was to Abuja, it was several years ago. And there was a gentleman who was sitting beside me, I think it was to Benin. And suddenly he greeted me. Uh, after we took off, and he said, well, my daughter's come to your church. I said, oh, yeah. And he said, well, I schooled at University of Ibadan and began to tell me about his life, and this is the department where he graduated and came out with flying colors, probably came out of the first class. And uh, one of my mother's very close friends um, used to be head of that department, and she was a senior professor in that particular department. So we got into the conversation when I mentioned her name. The conversation became deeper and richer. And then he said something to me, which was a very powerful life lesson. He said, after I finished, because uh, I did so well in my undergraduate, uh, after my youth call, I went back there and I began to lecture in this particular department. And then he goes on and says that um, what then happened was that one of the lecturers just walked up to him and said, young man, at that particular point in time, he said, look, we are going to keep this perception that we have of you will not change even in the next 20 years. You are a student, will always look at you as a student, will always talk to you as a student, and I think you are going to be undermined in this environment. I will suggest you leave now that is very early, all right, and go into a new space, a new place, all right, where you can show your talent, where you can um, show your qualities, because staying in this environment, even in 20 years' time, we will still have this perception, and that's the way you're going to evaluate yourself. So get out of this environment and go and find yourself out there. It will be uncomfortable. Uh, at the onset, but you will discover something. And he told me that that was one of the best decisions he had ever taken. He ended up um, schooling, going to do his master's abroad. It wasn't that it was easy, it was rough at times. But at the end, he said, listen, he developed a certain expertise that I think he's the only one in the country, or two of them, that can build this particular type of laboratories. And he's going into teaching hospitals and doing that particular work for them. And said the only reason why he moved into that space was that somebody told him, get out of this environment where you are already known and um, uh, for certain things where we look down upon you, where our estimate of you will be this way and go out there into an unknown territory and discover yourself. You know, somebody once told me, uh, where we formed cell system within the church, it says that the friends of this man always brought him to the front of the temple and lay him there to beg for arms. And so the help that they were rendering to him was one of carrying him and supporting him in this beggarly life. And that if he was going to get out of that situation, it couldn't be through the hands of those people that were helping him into that beggarly situation. There are just some times that you've got to look around yourself within your environment and tell yourself, listen, if I stay within this place, it's comfortable, you have entered this position, but if I stay within this environment where I'm not being challenged, where I'm being looked down upon, I will never ever become the person that God wants me to be. There is no way you'll get out in the pursuit of your destiny that you will not have to have what we call a wilderness experience where what really happens is discovery of who you really are and then the grace that God has placed upon your life now begins to get released. I just felt that will help somebody out there. God bless you.